Good to everybody, this is Kevin Hogan, author of The Psychology of Persuasion, The Science of Influence. 22 other books translated into 43 languages all across the world. Thank you for making that happen. It's all because of you. I appreciate it. What's the most valuable email address? You know, like what's the most valuable email address? Like if you were building a mailing list, like say that you had an online business, or say that you were doing a fundraising campaign, and so, or say that um, you just wanted to help somebody with their business online and you wanted to help them make the most money and you wanted to, to market to a certain group of people. Who would you market to? Most people have no idea who they would market to. And everything that we've discovered in this series of videos that we've been doing is, is that pretty much everything is counterintuitive in life. And um, just real quick, just, I just want to just go ahead, tell me R right now. What's, what's, what's the most valuable email address? At uh, Comcast, at Verizon, at Yahoo, at AOL, at Gmail, at the name of the person's business, like KevinHogan.com, at KevinHogan.com. And there's a ton of others. I'm not gonna mention all of them because I don't wanna give it all away. But what do you think? What's the most valuable email address? You ready? Okay. 48% of all political lists target Gmail. Okay, target Gmail. 48% of all the lists in the mails go to Gmail for donations in political campaigns. Okay, 48, that's half. Let's just call it half. 13% of those, of that list donates. And they donate $31 per person when they donate. So let's just run that again. Gmail, 48% of all of the target is on Gmail accounts. And of that, one in seven, one in eight, one in eight responds to targeted email, and they give $31. Seems pretty good to me. Except for when you compare it to the people who have AOL, AOL, AOL. AOL only got 4% of all the political ads this last election. 4%. 4% versus 48% for Gmail. 4% of political list. 22% of those people that were asked to donate in targeted lists did. And you know how much money they gave? Did they give $31 like the people at Gmail did? No. They gave $159 on average. $159. One twelfth as many people got these emails. But for the people that responded, they gave five, they gave more than 500% more money. I gave this information to a small group of people about two months ago. And they were like, but who uses AOL anymore? Nobody uses AOL. And I said, really? I'm in touch with some of the wealthiest people on planet Earth. And I can't think of any of them that don't use AOL when they write me. They either write me from their company or from AOL. Fascinating? Sure, it's old, it's a dinosaur, right? It's also the home of wealthy people. So when you see that AOL email address and you get that feeling about it, if it makes you feel good inside and gives you identity that you know that you're something special, it's actually true, okay? And if you look at that AOL address and you think, oh, that's just a bunch of dumb people who haven't kept up, it might be, you could be 100% right. Those dumb people, they have made a lot of money. There's more millionaires that use AOL than any other service on the planet. Cool? Okay, guys, you got something nobody else got this time around. Have a good one. I'll see you here next time.